Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install BuildShare and the recommended mods that go with them. Um, that's Bepinex and Inslim. I'm making this video because whenever I tried to do it in the past, uh, I, f I would find a YouTube video and I would follow that YouTube video and I would end up with a game crashing or not fully loading or with some kind of a glitch. So what I would suggest is to start with a fresh uh, game installation. But before we install the game, I would suggest to install a 7-zip. 7-zip, here's the URL for it. You're going to need it to unrar some files. Those links will be in the description. You go to this website, you look for the 7-zip, and you look for download next to the 64-bit version. So once you have it, you click on that download. And you're gonna have 7z2200-x64-xz and you're gonna click open file you're gonna click yes when asked do you want to allow this app and you're gonna click install and you're gonna click close now we did that because we will need to unpack some of the mods for some reason people are using rar which is mind-blowing but still okay so Next, I would suggest is to start with a vanilla fresh install of your game, which means you have to go to your Steam, to your library. You're going to scroll down until you see Valheim. You're going to right click on it. You're going to do install and you're going to choose the location to install by clicking on that arrow pointing down. In my case, I'm going to choose the drive F. Next, you're going to click next and it's going to auto allocate space on your hard drive and it's going to download. This is going to take a while. I'll be back to you in a sec. So once it's done, you're going to want to minimize your Steam window for a moment. And you're going to close your browser window and you're going to fire up the game to see if it's working. As you can see, vanilla install of the game, completely plain, is working just fine. So we're going to quit the game. You're going to unminimize your Steam window and you're going to go to your library and you're going to go to your Valheim right click on it manage browse local files and you can close your steam window we're going to move this window to the left now next thing you need to do is visit the Bepinex uh, link and once you do that you'll see this website you're going to scroll down and you're going to go manual download as you can see the file is downloaded and you can open the file by clicking on it now I'm going to move this, I'm going to close the browser window and I'm going to move this Bepinex window to the right. So now we have the game folder on the left and the zip folder on the right. You're going to double click on a Bepinex pack underscore Valheim. You're going to control A in here, right click, copy. You're going to click somewhere in the Valheim game window on the left and you're going to do right click, paste. Now this is done. We're going to close the Bepinex window on the right and we're going to visit the Inslim mod website. You're going to click on manual and you're going to scroll down. As you can see, there are two files in here, Inslim VML and Inslim VML Bepinex bug fix. We don't want the bug fix. What we do is we go to Inslim VML, manual download, slow download. You have to have an account on Nexus Mods website before you can download the mods. So create one. Now, as you can see, Inslim VML got downloaded. You can click on open the file. Actually, I'm going to close the browser in the background. So now, again, you have on your left Valheim game folder. On your right, you have the zip opened. And in the zip, you have a folder in slim-023. You double click on that. You click somewhere on the, on the empty space underneath the files. Control A, right click on the files, copy. You're gonna left click in the game window, somewhere in the empty space, and you're gonna right click and you're gonna do paste. It's going to ask you, do you want to replace some files? Yes, you're going to click replace the files in the destination. Now we can close the Inslim folder 
on the right and in the game window itself you will find a folder called unstripped core lib you double click on it you click somewhere in the empty space left click then you control a you right click on the files you do copy then you're gonna press the arrow up arrow you're gonna find a valheim data folder double click on that managed folder double click on that find any empty space click on it then right click and paste it's going to ask you if you want to replace the files in a destination yes you want to replace the files in a destination now we're going to test if the game is working it should we double click on a game icon on the desktop and you'll see this black window that's the loader don't worry about it it's supposed to be there and you're going to see a smaller window a white window with information that modded valheim client is launching with inslim and bepinex which is exactly what we want you click ok on that And as you can see, your game is launching perfectly fine, and now it has a completely different theme to it. And as you can see, you have Bepinex, and you have Inslim mods enabled. You're going to quit the game, and now, um, in your game window, you should still be in the Managed folder. You're going to click Up, Arrow, twice. So you're in the Valheim folder, and you have your Bepinex folder and an Inslim folder. For a VML folder as well. Now, if you're going to be installing a Bepinex mod, you're gonna visit your Valheim game folder. You're gonna go into a Bepinex. Actually, I'm gonna show you again how to get here. Now, you're gonna go to your library. You're gonna right click on Valheim, manage, browse local files, and you're in that folder. You're gonna click the Steam window. In here you have a Bepinex folder, if you double click on it, you're going to find two, uh, two folders that are interesting to us. Plugins, this is where you're going to unpack all your mods into. So as you can see there is already a DLL file in here, that's good. Now you're going to up arrow once and you're going to double click on a config. This is where the configs for your mods are being stored. I couldn't find that anywhere. I finally found it. This is where you change the configuration for your mods by double clicking on them, changing the value in the file to whatever you want, and saving the file, closing it, relaunching the game. So now we're going to up arrow twice to get to the Valheim game folder. And in here you have Inslim VML. Double click on that, double click on mods. This is where your Inslim mods are going. This is where you will unpack them. This is where they'll be stored. Now, let's go back to the main game folder. Up arrow twice. We're in the Valheim folder. And this is something that changed very recently uh, with the build share mod. We're going to visit the link. And for some reason, in here, you're going to click the files. And as you can see, previous ones, previous files were zipped and they were called advanced building mod.zip. The new one is called buildshare v2 bepinex. You're going to click a manual download and you're going to click slow download. Now, I don't know why would anyone, as you can see, this file extension is RAR. Why is anyone using RAR in 2022? I have no idea. However, you open the file, and if it doesn't open like that for you, it's going to ask you what you want to use to open the file. You're going to choose the 7-zip file manager. So once this is open, you're going to close the browser window. You're going to go back to your Valheim. You're going to go to Bepinex and you're going to go to Plugins and you're going to drag your buildshare v2.dll into the Plugins folder. This is where it needs to land. Now, when you open the game, you're going to see that black window again and you're going to OK that.
and you're gonna start game as you normally would and once you're in the game you'll notice that on your left hand side if you press tab you'll get the sword cursor you move it above the build shirt 2.0 and you click on it you can then grab the window and drag it to the side and you can use the things that are available for that mod so a few things that are quite cool is the terrain master for example i want to flatten a square 10 by 10 so i'm going to put x and y is 10 and i'm going to click flatten this is going to flatten a square 10 by 10 now 15 by 15 flatten excellent so uh, what is this mod for uh, you can drop buildings instantly into your game without the needed components or materials what you do is you tab so that you can gain your gain control through your mouse then you click build then you click get builds and as you can see you'll get a window explorer window open and you'll get a browser window open in your browser window you'll see this link it will be in the description as well and as you can see this is the list of all the things that the community has built so you can download them and you can you can put them in your in your game so now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for forward and there is a forward operation base by steel 107 you click on that then you click on manual and as you can see, uh, BuildShare is necessary for that. We already have that installed. So we click download and we click slow download. And once the file is downloaded, which wasn't that slow, you click open file. You move the window that popped up to the right and you drag fob2.1.vbuild into your builds folder in your game. Now, remember how I showed you this is your Valheim game with Bepinex in Slim. A build share builds is where you drop your buildings into. Now we click back on a game and we're gonna click here are the X, Y and Z coordinates of your building. Build name will be this and you can toggle where the building is going to get built. I don't really remember how it's works, but let's say x minus 10 and click POS, update POS. That's not working in a new version either. Okay, so this is where it's going to get built. Let's say that's where I want it. You click build. And a few seconds later, you have your building available for you right here. Now, let's say you don't want that building. You've placed it in the wrong place. You tab and you click undo and the building is gone. Now you can only do it right after you've placed the building. Sometimes you'll have a hole underneath the building, it's going to start collapsing, you can undo that, and then the building will be gone. But if you place something else, come on dude, I'm trying to do something here. Uh, yeah, so basically you can undo the build right after you, you, you've placed it on the ground. Another way of getting rid of it, but this is more slightly more dangerous, is um, you're going to toggle 
Now I'm going to change that to zero again. And you're going to update the POS or toggle again. And you're going to build. And you've already done something in the meanwhile, you can't undo it. So what you do is you go inside the building, somewhere in the middle. Aye. And you're going to tab. You're going to click on destroy. And you're going to choose a radius of, for example, 15 meters. And you're going to click destroy. Now careful if you're next to another building, because it will take a chunk out of that as well. So choose a radius that will actually work. Right. So you can flatten the terrain, you can remove the terrain, you can remove the trees. So this is a great little mod. It will allow you to drop many buildings into your uh, game and you can actually save them as well. So for example, if I build FOB again, I made some changes to it and I want to save it. So let's say I'm going to stand in front of the building, tab, save, and I'm going to choose current and I'm going to choose radius of 20. The build name will be my house and I'm going to display toggle visibility, toggle visible display true. So if you escape and you click somewhere on the game, you can move around and you can actually see that the whole building is covered. Except for teleport, the portal, which is a bit trickier. I might do a video on how to do that. However, once you have this and you're sure that your radius is fine, you can change the radius tab, change the radius to let's say 25 if you're not happy with 20, and you're going to do save. Do not save the terrain. It's going to take too much effort. Anyway, now you can click on the game, escape, move somewhere. You're going to tab, you're going to build, and you're going to check the build name, click on it, and you're going to choose my house, vbuild. And you're going to build it. And as you can see, right in front of you is your new building. Oh, including the portal. Nice. I guess it didn't work in the previous version. It works here. So now, as you can see, you have two buildings. And you didn't spend any resources. Now, that's about it for the game itself, for this video. I'm going to try to make some more of them, but if I have the... Right, if it's if I have the time and if I have the need for it, but basically that's it. It's a cool mod. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.